welcome back to Mornings with the Mitten. I'm Deidre. I'm Stacy. So Stace, let's talk today about the importance or how important it is to have professional photos for the listing. Sure, let me tell you how important to have professional photos are. We got a call last week and I took on a new client okay. because there was a previous agent that actually asked the seller to take pictures with their own iPhone. What? Yes. Can you believe that? No. So I got a phone call. The very first question I had was, how do you take your photos for a listing? And I said, well, we have a professional photographer that wow. comes out. We have a drone that goes up in the air. And she goes, that is incredible. Can yeah. you come out? And I was out there within a couple hours that afternoon. And I showed her some of our examples of our photos that we had. Blown away by the incredible professionalism, not only from moving the mitten, but just in general of our photos. And I want to let you guys know, everybody understand how important photos are. Deidre, what is the first thing people do when they're looking to buy a home? They look at the pictures. They look online, at the home, right? Online. They yes, go definitely. online. So that is your first introduction for someone to see you. It's not when they walk in your door. It's no. not when they drive by your house. It could be literally that they are sitting anywhere and everywhere looking at your home right. immediately, 24-7. And they love the ooh-ah effect. They're like, oh my gosh. I mean, that's what captures them in yep. to the property is the picture. And they're sharing it with their family and friends saying, what do you think? How does this look? Do you, does that look like this? Does, what's the layout look like? And they're trying to envision themselves in your home as those photos are online right. immediately. So important, important, important to have a professional photographer and having us come out to give you example of how to even place furniture yes, for definitely. those photos. Yep, definitely. It makes a huge difference. So that is my little tangent on professional photos because it makes a huge difference and I know it's just so important. Huge. And if you do happen to have an agent that wants you to take cell phone pictures, please call us. Or if they're pulling out their own phone to take yeah. the photos, that is not okay. Right, because you know what? <laughs> we are here to work for you and to get yep. your home and your property the best exposure there is. Yep, so. and selling your home for top dollar for the best price. Yes. Okay, so with now, that, <laughs> yeah, with that being said, we um, have an exciting event that's happening. Tonight, yes. yes. And it's the annual Taste of Belleville. Ooh, Taste of Belleville. That sounds yummy. What is the Taste of Belleville? It is very yummy. <laughs> actually, it's where all the local restaurants come to Belleville. They uh, actually um, pour, uh, they, uh, they create a taste. Yeah, but then they close the roads, if you will. Oh, okay. And so they have like, it's a really fun little fair. So we got a little strolling stuff. event? Yes, yeah, strolling event. So come Excellent. hungry, we don't eat all day today, and come down to Belleville. <laughs> so there's something a little extra special about the taste of Belleville that is also done on the lake. There is. <laughs> and it's is put it? on by the Rotary Club, and it's the rubber ducky, Water race. So Wait a second. Rubber ducky water race? That yes. sounds so much fun. What is the rubber ducky water race? So what they do <laughs> is while people are strolling and eating from various yep. different restaurants, the Rotary Club will have a table selling little rubber duckies. And what happens is, I think they sell them up to approximately maybe 7, 30 p.m. Okay. And, and what they, do we do with these rubber well, duckies? Well, then the rubber duckies <laughs> get all in a big net and they get on a boat and then they're released. So, into the lake. Into the lake. Into How Buffalo Lake. How fun. Okay. So, and then the winner of the rubber ducky, the rubber ducky winner gets a thousand dollars. Hey, so these rubber duckies go down the lake. Yep. Your number, I'm guessing, is on the bottom yes. of what number is Correct. your ducks. And then whoever wins gets an extra thousand dollars and a full tummy at the same time. They do. <laughs> and so with that being said, hopefully you all were on our Facebook page this week to see yep. our contest. And we have a great winner with our contest. And who is the lucky winner this week? And our winner of 50 food tickets okay. and five rubber duckies Ooh. is Wendy Miracle. Yay. Wendy, you can come up to get your prize um, to five o'clock this evening. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, someone will be here and um, you can enjoy some of that taste of Belleville. And good luck with the rubber ducky. Yes, who knows? 50 food tickets and a thousand dollars, that would be awesome. <laughs> well, we also have an exciting weekend here at Moving the Mitten with a ton of listings that are happening. So we actually have eight listings this week yeah. and open houses as well. So we pretty, pretty busy here at Moving the Mitten as we have fun tasting all the food. We also have lots of work to do as well. Right. So the first home that we have is 46528 Larchmont in Canton. 350,000, it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath colonial in the Sunflower subdivision. One of the most desirable uh, subs in Canton, by the way, because it has access to community pool and the clubhouse. It has an updated kitchen, updated master bath, and a finished basement. 
We also have 5823 Charlesworth in Dearborn Heights. That it happens to be my listing at $140,000 with a finished basement, three bedroom, one and a half bath, brick ranch with a newer furnace, a covered porch, and beautifully landscaped with a large wood deck. And then we also have 12720 Linda Vista here in Belleville, $550,000, a four bedroom, two and a half bath, lakefront ranch, a ranch on the lake, wow. Yes. Granite kitchen, appliance package included, finished walkout basement, a second kitchen in the basement for entertaining, and a two car side entry attached garage, along with the dock and lift included. Then we also have 32435 Birchwood in Westland. That's $130,000, three bedroom, one bath, brick ranch. We're on a ranch roll this week. <laughs> Updated kitchen, partially finished basement, a covered patio, two car detached garage with a fenced in backyard. We also have 36517 Lady Wood in Livonia. It's a four bed, two and a half bath colonial, updated kitchen and appliances, master suite, gas fireplace, and a beautiful stamped concrete patio. We have 1149 North Denwood in Dearborn. That's at 225,000 and that is a four bed, two bath brick Cape Cod immediate occupancy that's awesome because school is just around the corner updated kitchen finished basement double fence lot covered patio and two car garage that's pretty that's a nice that's a nice, nice house yes um and those will be open house on saturday that's correct from 12, 12 to 2. 2. Mm -hmm. we have sunday open houses which the property for sunday would be 55901 pontiac trail in new hudson it's 185,000, three bedroom, one bath ranch, updated ceramic kitchen and bath, hardwood floors, unfinished basement, two and a half car detached garage, and private fence. Back into the walking trails. Nice. Then we have 6187 Columbia Drive in Ypsilanti, 167,500, two bed, two bath, end unit ranch condo, granite kitchen, and with appliances, main floor laundry, finished basement, and deck. Wow, that's an exciting group of listings. Yes, we have a lot going on <laughs> here at the Mitten. So again, hopefully we'll be able to see you at one of our open houses and or Ooh, tonight at, at the Taste, Taste of, of Belleville. Belleville. All right, everyone, have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.